Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake. This is episode 19, where we are in the lab and trying to get some kind of cure for Sherry's infection that her father gave her. Also, I was trying to check if Claire has another knife sheath, because of course she's got the one on her shoulder there that she doesn't actually use from the original game. But yeah, it looks like she does still have um, that one by the hip pouch there, even though the grenade launcher is clipping through it. And you can see it actually does have the specific sheath for our infinite knife, or sheath, uh, handle, model, whatever. Alright, um, so we've got the code here. I think that's different. That actually might be the same. It's hard to tell, because obviously some things are slightly different for the second run, in terms of, like, codes and stuff, but a lot of stuff is also the same. So, I'm never really sure which one it's going to be. Alright, so... We've got our code, which means we can fill up our dispersal cartridge. And I'm trying to remember where the last place I need the signal modulator is. I think it's over in the other side, so I do have to keep that with me. Alright, so I got three more flame rounds, three acid rounds. So I'm thinking, rather than using two flame rounds on one of these guys, I can just pop their little pimples until they go down. and then just finish them off. That seems much better use of ammo than just hitting it with multiple grenades. All right, so what was the combo here? It was two mirrored, one Small and big, and then two dots. So, I'm hoping that the solution for the filling the cartridge is the same, since that was a little slow last time. Gonna have to take care of that plant when I get back. Okay, I think there was another item in here I didn't pick up. I thought there was something I didn't have space for last time. But I guess not. Alright, let's pop the cartridge in. Manual mode engaged. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. Alright, so it looks like it's not the same because the cartridge capacity is a little higher. But it looks like it's mostly the same idea, because you can see that there's only a little extra at the top there above it. Alright. So, we combo those. And... How do we get a little less in this one? So, if I do that... Okay, we end up with a little bit of space there. Um, actually, let's see. Not quite. I was going to say that should be enough left over, but there's a little too much in the second cartridge there. Hmm. 
Okay, that's looking a little better, but I think it's still too much. Not sure, though. Yeah, I need a good way to split these. Oh, here we go. So we do it like that. And then we do it again, and it should leave us with just a little bit in the last one. Alright. So yeah, this little amount here. Now... Obviously, I can't just combine the two existing ones, so I think I need to separate the small one again to get to the ideal amount. Now, how would I split this one again? Um, I mean, I think we can just combine these two. the small amount in there. And now how can I separate these? Hmm. I mean, kind of back where I've started now, but I need to... I feel like I should have... Hmm. I can't reset it. I was going to say maybe I should have left it in three, because now I'm trying to figure out how to split this back into three. So I need to put this one there and this one here. Okay, that gives me three amounts. Now, I think I want to combine, oops, I want to combine these two, but is that just going to give me back the same amount that's already in there? Seems like it. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should just fill this whole thing and then siphon off the top. Okay, so I need that, and then I need just a little less. But how do I have this? This is not a puzzle I really want to spend a lot of time on, but... Gotta have you juggling fluid amounts. Alright, so... Where does this leave me? You can combine these two. Which again, leaves me with a small amount. Combine the small amount, and then... Divide it again. So I think if I combine what's in the small one with what's in the big one, I should have enough now. 
I'm probably off by like a tiny amount. Yep, I need one more siphoning's worth, and I don't have that. Hmm. Well, I just reversed what I just did there. But, it's just kind of a, com a momentum killer when I'm trying to finish up the game here, and it's like, oh, well, now you gotta deal with all this. I always did hate these puzzles where it's like, the solution should be obvious, but we're just gonna give you awkward tools to work with to make it into a puzzle. Okay. So... What can I do here? I think I have the right solution now with the amount of solution. Also, I don't know why I switched that one. Alright. I just kind of had to siphon it off by sections and then add them up into one. Or I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. Alright, we got our cartridge. Now we gotta cool it. All right, plant, are you waiting for me right outside the door? No, not really, but he is blocking Jesus. my path. And I'm not really worried about saving flame rounds because this is pretty much... The reason I've been saving them the whole game is just to take care of the plant zombies. I call them ivies, but they're really not ivies. I don't think they even have, like, an official name yet. I mean, most places I've just seen them referred to as, like, vine zombies. Also, there's an item in here somewhere. Oh, I guess it's probably just the, the actual item I need. Alright. Should be fairly simple to come down here. I pretty much cleared out everything that was here before. Unless they're gonna burst another liquor out at me. Which I wouldn't be surprised by. In fact, let's toss an acid round in, just in case. You know, those zombies really don't look like I already killed them. Or at least not this one. These ones, you know, they are looking pretty rough. <laughs> Where they got stabbed. A lot. This guy's still got a bit of wiggle left to him. Okay, low temp testing lab. I think there is still some items in here, too. A lady. You're still going. Just in case. Yeah, because the map says that there's something in this hallway, which looks like it's a separate room from the frozen area. They might all be one room, though. I thought there was an herb or something I didn't pick up here. that in there. Skip that since it's really long. Alright, so let's discard our trophy and 
Yeah, I think we're good. Nothing else in here, so we can just go back. So, I don't know if we'll get through the whole game here, but I think we can get most of the way done, at least up to the self-destruct. Okay. I still didn't actually go in the server room when I turned the power on, unless that door's just locked. No, I think I just didn't try to. I think there is... Well, there's a knife that I don't need. There's gunpowder, which I could use. More flame rounds. Yeah, so, good idea to not to skip it. Okay, so I could make more acid rounds, or I could save it and hopefully make some SMG rounds. Actually, I do have high grade already. Do I want SMG rounds? I mean, I've got a lot saved already. But then again, I think I actually have too much ammo. I think I can probably afford to start to uh, firing off some shit. Because, I mean, I've got a lot of high power weapons. I've got the spark shot plus, what, 11 more shots? I've got 10 flame rounds, 15 magnum rounds, another 200 submachine gun ammo, so yeah, I think I'm good. Plus all these grenades I'm carrying. Actually, let's take one of these grenades. Um... I think I can probably deposit the revolver now. And just use the SMG. Hmm. Just head back up the way I came. See, so yeah, I suppose Mr. X is not going to burst through the glass when we get this thing. So much for the weed infestation. Warning, you have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been locked and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. It is a good question, though, why this guy has not turned into a plant zombie. Because the other zombies were scientists who died, and then the seedlings from this plant infested them. But this guy's just, like, dead dead. And also not wearing a hazmat suit, unlike this guy. Oh, no. I don't even need to waste the ammo on him. Because I don't need to come back into this room. Oh, hello. Gotta remember, too, that there's like three or four Ivies, or Ivy zombies, that show up during the escape. Okay, so I got my card. Um, thinking, what else do I need right now? Because I don't remember. Ah, there is actually an item box over in the other side. So we'll just hold off until we get over there. No one is getting out of here alive. Right 
They have this big fancy like wristband system and all that, but then it's just a big button to actually get the bridge to deploy. I mean, these bridges may seem kind of overdramatic, but I guess they are a good way to keep quarantine. You know, if there's a viral breakout, they can just pull the bridges back. Anything else lying around? So we don't actually need the G-Virus as Claire here. We're looking for Devil. But I assume it's going to be the same process. Alright, we need owls. Perkins inbox. I feel like I missed this one last time. Suspending research on G. The Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground Laboratory. All funding for this project has been cut, and Laboratory Director William Birkin has been removed from his post. It seems weird that she sent this to Birkin himself, if this is in his inbox. Center, B.E. Thank you for your mail, Dr. Birkin. Top brass have expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about costs. Our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States, because it's the U.S. military. Richard Kessler, congratulations. I heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange you never thought to report the to the research lab here at Umbrella HQ, but I suppose I can let that slide. Anyway, send over the data, would you? So did this guy not get the email about Birkin being pulled from the project? Because that seemed like something they sent to everybody. <laughs> and don't worry, you've done good work on G, but we can take care of the rest. Jane Doyle, notice of admonishment. You are under suspicion of breaching your contract with the Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G project and have been in unauthorized contact with the U.S. military. Please respond to the investigation committee's summons within 24 hours and totally don't inject your own virus. So yeah, pretty much they were like, we're gonna take away your virus, and Birkin's like, no, I'm gonna give it to the military instead so that I can keep working on it and turn all of humanity into goop monsters that are totally better. Because let's face it, Birkin's objective here was the same as Wesker's in Resident Evil 5. He just wants to make, you know, the super race to replace humanity. Which is why he had no problem injecting himself with his stupid virus. Alright, so we are going to need to be prepared here. Now, I don't know if things are going to progress the same way. I think we might have to do some running around to get this vaccine. What did I miss in here? Oh. Yeah, the video cassette. Bioreactors were in. Okay. A little more of that. So I think I will use that one to make acid rounds with the large gunpowder. Probably should do that first. I mean, again, I'm preparing for this as if that same fight is going to happen here, but I don't know that it is for sure. I think they cut Birkin's fourth form, which you would normally fight in the B scenario, which is the kind of, like, dog form. Okay, large gunpowder, 
combined with this should make six acid rounds, so that's a good number there. So yeah, we've got grenade rounds of both kinds, we've got needle cartridges, and we've got SMG ammo. So I think we're pretty, pretty strapped for danger here. And we don't have to worry about saving ammo for the Super Tyrant, since he's already dead. Okay, this is just about them infecting people. So... I guess that's the antivirus right next to the virus. Hmm. Good thing I looked at this pendant. So does that mean... Got it. Sherry's pendant actually doesn't do the same thing in this? In the original game... The antiviral agent. Her pendant had a... Another sample of the G-virus in it. Which is why Mr. X was pursuing her. Because his... One of his tasks was to bring back a sample. And I thought that's why... Irons wanted it. But... I guess that's not the case here. Alright. So... <laughs> I have a lot of healing left. I've still got three first aid sprays. Uh, three mixed herbs. I guess this one doesn't have a green. Okay. So I guess we'll keep two full heals on me, and I will grab another large gunpowder and make even more acid rounds. Which you're not going to stack. Um, I have another large gunpowder, but... I don't have any more high grade. That regular little gunpowder is really not that useful because all I can make is nine mil rounds. Also, funny thing, this is a this is a Mac 10, right? The SMG, which would mean that this ammo here is also 45 ammo, even though it says 40 there, because that's you know the Mac 10 was either chambered in 45 or nine mil, and I would assume it's 45 based on how effective it's been. But it's funny that we can't use our other 45 ammo with it. 45 ACP. Your ass again! William! This ends now. I guess she might have also shot him with the antivirus. The hell is this thing? That was my husband. But that just does look like a flare gun. Here, let me summarize this cutscene for you again. Oh, this time we get to see him transform. She is my creation! Yeah. Oh! Ah! Oh. I She's like, killed him while I, had the chance. I could have killed him there, but I'm not sure she could have. I, just... I, do it. I think he at that point he would have regenerated. Honestly, we were more married to our work than each other. But what about Sherry? How could you just leave her all alone while Rackham City burned to hell? I couldn't let my daughter grow up in a world with the G-Virus in it. But that's no That seems like a weird attitude to have for the person who created it. The G-Virus was my other child. It was the bad one. No. I 
got this. You should take care of Sherry. You don't know what you're up against. I have a pretty damn good idea. I really do. Never you do. Don't stop until it's finished. Trust me. This ends now. I mean, does that make Claire a little more badass than Leon? Because Leon's like, oh, what are you doing? When Annette does it. But here, Claire's like, nah, I'll just fucking kill him. Right. I was holding left click instead of right click. I didn't mean to release early. And this is the original OST still. Nope. Ah, shit. I'm still doing it. I'm letting go of the aim instead of the fire. Ah, I was hoping it would overcharge there just fast enough to hit him, but it didn't. Those definitely didn't explode into fire last time. Oh. It's just, even with the upgrade, it's a little too slow to stop her from getting a hit in. Still doesn't really seem to affect him that much. I think it's better against non-bosses. Um, some magnum rounds. Flashbang. Flashbang's actually handy here. Oh boy. It's actually a good spot for them to land because I don't get affected by the fire. Nope. Suppose I am waiting for his chest to open up. Nope. That's kind of weird, that's like a poke. He does a lot of damage, even with that defense buff. Did you just stay down already? Also, he might not go down to his knees in this form, this time. He doesn't seem to get stunned as easily, but... No. Because the eye is turning red, so he's almost done. I was holding at that time, and he, she fired twice. Yeah, so he doesn't go down into his weakened form. I guess to make this fight harder. I was kind of looking for that. That's why I didn't bring an extra healing item. Okay, I'm trapped in the corner with him. And his backswing is still pretty bad. So he was definitely tougher this time.
considering I beat him with the shotgun and pistol last time. Target has been neutralized. Ending quarantine. Alright. Oh, I was like, the elevator's not here, but it's on the, the broken side. I'm not really sure what the point of the whole him pulling that panel off is. I wonder how much damage he would have done there if I didn't have the defense buff. Seems like he would just kind of kill you in one hit. Or two. So I kind of wasted the spark shot, but I don't think it would have helped me much in that fight. And at this point, I just kind of take what I've got. Don't think we'll need this ammo. First aid spray, herb, and submachine gun ammo. Um, I guess I'll store those for now, and what else? I wanted to take out the high-powered rounds, as well as the SLS. So you really don't get a lot of these high-powered rounds, but I assume they are pretty powerful. Everything's all loaded. So the self-destruct hasn't been activated because we didn't take out the G-Virus this time. I assume something's still going to trigger it, though. Unfortunately, Annette died before she could administer the vaccine. No, Sherry's looking all right. Her face thing closed already. Annette? Sh Sherry. Or how are you? Okay. But you don't look so good. Mommy? Hey, to look at the screen. Oh, thank God. So Sherry's gonna be all right? She'll be weak for a little while, but... Yes. She's free of the G-Virus. Well... Did you hear that? Not entirely free of it. She does still keep her regeneration, after all. What happened to her? She was attacked by the monster. Don't... Don't worry about me. Take my daughter to safety. I'm sorry, Sherry. For everything. Your life is what is important. We can't just leave her here. You're right, we can't. Attention. Unauthorized removal of a level four virus detected. Damn it, Leon. What does that mean? It's a self-destruct coat. In case the G virus leaves the building. Please save my daughter. No! Sherry. Sherry, you just say goodbye to your mom. Mom, please say goodbye. Please, Sherry. Listen. She loves you. 
loved you, okay? You really gotta get going. Come on. She wasn't a very good parent, but she still cared about you. You can't help but feel a little bit bad for Annette in right, both paths. I'm so lucky to have you. So we can talk more about that later. We gotta hurry now. Come on. Though I feel like they went a little harder on the I've gotta stop the G-Virus from getting out thing, because before it was just kind of like I don't want anyone else to get the G-Virus. I gotta kill my husband. Yeah. I don't want to rush you, but... We have to go. Self-destruct sequence will begin when lockdown is complete. Attention. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Use the central elevator to evacuate immediately to the bottom level train platform. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, the place is not even exploding yet. Um. Wow, what does that thing do, Claire? No idea, Sherry. <laughs> It looks sciency. Claire? Yeah? Thank you for being so nice to me. For helping me. I'm really glad I met you. I'm really glad I met you too, Sherry. But save your thanks until I get you out of this place. Save your thanks until I get out of this place, and then abandon you to go look for my brother. Are we not going to call Leon? Also, I thought I missed an item here because it is red, but... I don't see anything. Nope. Why did I take that? I don't need another knife. I have the only knife I'll ever need. Save. So what do I want to bring with me? I mean, this is kind of the time to bring anything, right? I've got a lot of healing. I've got a lot of ammo. I'm pretty good, but I guess I'll take these grenades and... Uh, yeah, I don't really have any other ammo. I'm kind of carrying all of my good ammo now. Oh, there's a little bit more flame rounds. Yeah, I guess uh, <laughs> we'll just bring it all. Put down anything that gets in the way. Look at him just staring at me like, you want to walk over here? Um, no, I don't have any space for a blue herb. Did, did that not actually do anything? His tentacles are still waving, so he's not dead. Oh, okay, I guess they just weren't active yet. Is there a ladder there? I don't think I can use that ladder. Oh. Sadly, this doesn't have the option to use it. If your inventory is full. There is at least one Resident Evil where if you try to pick up a healing item with a full inventory, it'll say, do you want to just use it instead? Come, you coming, Cherry? Of course. Stupid thing's locked. Hold on. Cherry, where do you... I think I can open it from the other side. Okay. I'll wait. Oh. 
Damn it, your sucks. Wait, where did they la <laughs> land? <laughs> Anytime now, Sherry. I don't want to rush you, but there are horrible plant men down here. That thing just looks like it would be so heavy, especially when she's holding it in one hand like this. Nope, that's not what I want. Alright. Sherry, you hanging in there? I'm right behind you! Had a girl! Think we're almost out of here! I guess Leon fell down here. Oh yeah, because it's part of the floor collapsed, right? That's how he got to the elevator instead of up here. Claire! Maybe we can mm, nope, don't need that either. Worth a try! Oh look, another item box. Okay, so here's the train. It is not where it needs to be. But I guess this is the train lift from the original game. You know, this is how you originally get down into the lab. Alright, minigun. Don't know where I'm gonna put that. Okay, I need the... the plug. Is this a two-slot item? Yeah. Okay, I need the plug. So, let's see. I don't need the wristband, I think. I don't think I need it to get on this train here. And... Hmm... I think I can probably ditch the flashbang since I have three grenades. Yeah. So I can grab the plug, then grab the minigun. Which is kind of Claire's equivalent of the rocket launcher. I was hoping it didn't need the wristband to get on the train. Grab that. What are you doing? I gotta get this train moving. I need you to stay right here, okay? Okay. I promise I won't move. Good. Be careful. Always. So I'm pretty sure Birkin is gonna show up here again. Since this is also where you fight. Well, I guess pretty much this form of Birkin, the third form. Though I have a feeling he's not going to look the same. Alright, let's pop this thing in here. Oh. I suppose this is where we're going to talk to Leon. Okay. Alright, it's working. Claire! What? Leon? You're down here too? Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Look, you need to get out. Fast. I know. I found a way out. I think, I think we can all make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon, I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Don't worry about me. Just get out of here. Leon, Leon. Damn! It's kind of funny, too, that you think about it. The only Six. reason they have a time pressure here is because Leon pointlessly took the virus, which then fell down into the pit. Also, it's funny that Claire gets the really heavy gun. I mean, I guess the... The, what is it, M102 Flash? M202 Flash? I can't remember. That thing would be pretty friggin' heavy, too. Oh, yeah. 
so this is a new form of Birkin. Alright, we don't have that much ammo. But yeah, this seems like they've combined aspects of the third form with the fourth form. So he's not a dog thing, he's just a uh, swelling mass of flesh. I guess I'll just dump all my ammo on him. So I'm glad they did at least make, you know, some new variant here. I was hoping to get around that bend. I mean, his eyes are popping, but they're also growing back. And I have a feeling he's gonna have a lot of health since we have so much firepower. Where are you going, Bergen? Oh, I can't even aim high enough to shoot him. Well, he is giving the elevator a little bit of a boost. I think he is actually starting to degenerate. Well, no, he kind of looks the same. I thought he was continuously mutating. Out of Magnum ammo. Uh, the minigun I don't even have assigned to a slot, so let's switch it out there. I'm not sure it's possible to beat him with only five minutes left, because I know that's one of the achievements for the Super Tyrant. There we go, that sped it up. Getting weak. I was hoping I could knock him out of the air.
He's losing all of his juice and growing bones. But I'm sure he's dead now. So that was cool. That was cool that they added a a new form that was actually a fairly tough boss. Claire! It's okay. I'm here. We're getting out of here. And it seems like a good thing I saved all that ammo. Can't leave without the rest of the train. Does not even consider waiting for Leon. It's like, nope, I got one minute left. First thing you want to do when we get out of here. I want to see where you live. Good. Sigh. Take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? That bad. Oh yeah. I mean, you were in a sewer, but so was Sherry, so she probably doesn't Leon! smell any better. It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? <sighs> you did. Who's this? This. This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. What was that? I don't know. You stay here with Sherry. I'm gonna go check it out. I think we picked up a little bit of a passenger. Head to the last car. Alright. Weird place to just have one large gunpowder. Alright, what do we got left? Um, we've got some spark shot, some grenades, no SMG ammo, Yeah, I guess we don't really have much on the ammo front. Like, I've got gunpowder, I could make some more 9mm ammo. <laughs> I think we'll just take some first aid, and yeah, that's probably good enough. need that. Don't really need that either. And it is the eternal maw form of Birkin. where the G-Virus just continuously tried to... Uh, not really, Claire. The G-Virus has tried to compensate for how much damage he's taken, so now he's just... flesh. And teeth. Should have seen that one coming. Claire! gonna lose that car! Funny, this is not how I remember the midnight meat train going. didn't need much to take him down. 
Good thing I had that minigun left over. That was a good way to finish that off. You know, it was a little fancier than the original, but pretty much the same thing. You just had to so dump some more ammo are into you guys, him. Like, boyfriend and girlfriend? No. We're just uh, Oh, we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been one hell of a first date though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look! He might Leon's be like, I also ride. met somebody else. I think I like her. What if it's not just the city? Get Sherry out of here. Mom. What if it's the whole world? You can just never trust truck drivers. So, is it over? And then he drives into know. Raccoon City. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. And then hey, Leon, Claire, and Sherry never ended up in the same place again. <laughs> Well, actually, that's not true. Leon and Sherry? I'm trying to remember if Leon and Sherry ever actually run into each other in 6. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. It's also funny that Sherry just, like, immediately takes to Leon. It's like, I know we've never met in this version, but you're a cool guy. Claire likes you, so I like you. Alright, so that's the true ending of Resident Evil 2 Remake, and it was pretty good. You know, I enjoyed playing through it, and I enjoyed playing through the, the second run as Claire. You know, I think her story got fleshed out a little better, Just a little more of a bond with Sherry, which kind of makes what happens afterwards a little shittier. <laughs> Since Claire does basically just leave Sherry behind with extended family, and she gets kidnapped by leftovers of Umbrella. And then the government does war tests on her, and she becomes a, a federal agent. And has regeneration powers. But not super useful ones, because you still need to heal when you play as her in 6. Just plot regeneration. So yeah, that's, uh... That's pretty much the end. I mean, obviously there's going to be more to cover. we still got Fourth Survivor. We've got uh, Tofu. And then we've got the Ghost Survivors, which is coming out in less than a week now. So we'll definitely be returning to Resident Evil 2 Remake. Plus there's some other stuff I want to check out, like that first person mod. So we'll be seeing more of these various parts of Raccoon City. And so... We've kind of gone from Capcom saying, hey, if fans want a Resident Evil 3 remake, they just have to speak up, to a somewhat solid rumor that Resident Evil 3 remake is already in development, and so is Resident Evil 8. Which is interesting, because it wasn't just, hey, Resident Evil 8 is in development, but also that there was details that you're actually going to go to an island facility run by the company that made Evelyn, you know, made the E-Type, and that there would be elements of the original design for Resident Evil 4, the one where Leon was infected and hallucinating because of the infection. And they actually cut that whole thing from Resident Evil 4 because the GameCube couldn't handle what they wanted to do, which is that there would be kind of a hallucination version of every area and it would kind of switch between them at random since that would require it to render both versions at the same time so that it could flip between them seamlessly and it couldn't do that so that got scrapped you know yet another design for Resident Evil 4 that got scrapped but yeah Resident Evil 8 in development and apparently Resident Evil 3 remake also in development which is going to release before Resident Evil 8 
which makes me think that Resident Evil 8 might be next-gen consoles, since those are kind of on the horizon now. But yeah, I'm excited for them to remake Resident Evil 3 and to see what they do with Nemesis, but I think that even reusing this Resident Evil 2 remake engine and kind of gameplay, they are going to have to change things up a little bit because Mr. X is a very determined stalker, but Nemesis is kind of a gear above that, you know? He doesn't stomp after you, he just fucking sprints at you and grabs you with a tentacle, so you're going to need some way to deal with that. But I'm also hoping that if they do remake Resident Evil 3, that they actually put the effort in to keep the non-human enemies in, or non-zombie enemies in. Because Resident Evil 3 had a lot more enemies than Resident Evil 2. You know, there were two types of hunters. There was the Grave Digger, which is the giant worm. There was the giant spiders in the clock tower, which I feel like that would be kind of weird if they removed those ones. There were big leeches. There was a whole lot of things beyond just zombies, dogs, and... Well, there wasn't even liquors. The liquors got replaced by the drain dimos slash brain suckers. Two enemies that are almost identical, and I couldn't really tell them apart, but they are actually two different enemies. But yeah, so I hope they remake it. I hope it's good, but I don't know. Also got a C grade there because it took so long. But again, I'll probably do S rank on my own. So that's it. Alright. So... That means we have unlocked the fourth survivor, and if I complete fourth survivor, I will unlock Tofu. I guess. That's how it sounds. Tofu was a lot more of a pain in the ass to unlock in the original game. Because you had to, like, do, like... Claire A, Leon B, and then Leon A, Claire B, and then back and forth between that set like three or four times in a row on a save to be able to unlock Tofu or something like that. So, having that be simpler is nice. Did I unlock any fancy new models? Cool uniform Sherry. Alright. So I guess we should probably wrap up here. Okay, we got some of the zombies, too. Zombie dog. Looking pretty good. The G Young. These guys you didn't really get to see at all, so these are one of those things where it's nice to see them in a model. Very floppy. Got the tyrant. I wonder, is one of these animations his hat coming off? Nope, just his two fist punch. G stage one, G stage two, G stage five. <laughs> I like how it just pulls right out. Very gribbly. And again, this is something that looks a lot better just because they could put more detail into it here. We've got our other combat knife, which is not really a combat knife. The high power. The M19, which is what Leon gets in the same spot as Claire's uh, quick draw, which I assume is a little better since it is magazine fed and not a revolver. Grenade launcher, flamethrower. I guess the spark shot's not in here? There's probably an achievement with the spark shot. Anyway, that is it. We are done with the main playthrough of Resident Evil 2 Remake, and I hope you'll join me for the post-game modes and the DLC when that comes out next week. But until then, I've been Shadefire, and you all take care in Raccoon City.